Back with Inside the Islanders, I'm George Matthews, and guesting with me, the Vice President of Operations for the Charlottetown Islanders, Trent Burton. Trent, as we sit here and we do this taping of this segment, Inside the Islanders, things going pretty good for the Islanders right now. Of course, coming off a win last night against Gatineau, the team now 6-0-1, 13 points out of 14. But news as well throughout uh, this week from the league uh, perspective, attendance-wise, you're top eight. Uh, you are the number one team in the queue as far as increased attendance is concerned, 40, uh, rather 46% percent increase there so things are going pretty good but the storyline here hasn't always been like this of course if you go back about five months or so uh, take us back to that particular point where there's a concern about the ownership there's a change here possibly the franchise moving out of the city uh, and you certainly spearheaded the attack to keep this team in the city go back to that point there and take us to today yeah sure uh, back in May we did get that phone call saying that the Severds uh, did indeed want to move the team sell the team um, but they wanted to keep they would do everything they could to keep it here in Charlottetown so they gave a two-week window to find some owners and you know uh, Gordy Dwyer was a big part of this as well so we spent a lot of hours in the office and on the phone and put together a great group of owners that we have in place now and you know when we were doing this the, the pitch to these guys all along was that this franchise can indeed be what it has been here the last couple of weeks or the, the last month or so since the regular season has started. Um, you know, I've said for for years that Charlottetown is a perfect size for a CHL market, and uh, I think the team and the fans are showing that that is correct. Now, when you look at your own position, Vice President of Operations here, uh, you've got an ownership group obviously in place. They've stepped uh, forward here uh, to help uh, make sure that this team is solid here uh, in the queue and in this marketplace. But you also have a board as well as Vice President of Operations. How do you work within that board? Well, the board is the board is the group of owners, and uh, that's pared down to four and an executive. So basically, that executive is the go between the office um, and uh, and the other owners, and we meet on a monthly basis or or when needed. And uh, you know, the executive is the executive is a non-operational board, but there's a wealth of experience uh, there as well. So you know, it's it's we're very fortunate to have the great group of owners that we do have, so we can indeed tap into those to those resources that we have. So you know. All in all, it's a, it's a great experience. You know, I, I, there's power in numbers. We have got many numbers, and, and they're all in it for the right reason, simply to make this team successful here in Charlottetown. Trent, when it looks, uh, you know, this week again, uh, 46% increase uh, in uh, attendance here. It's the tops uh, in the queue. you got to be proud of that uh, after four games at this particular point. Uh, now, when it comes to season ticket packages, what are available here? I think uh, you've revisited that here right now. Yeah, we did. Season tickets were good. They were strong throughout the summer and, and into the fall. Um, now four games into the season, we wanted to adjust that a little bit because there is still a good buzz around. In the last two or three weeks, we've been selling five or six or ten uh, season tickets each week. So to be fair to the consumer, we knocked it back, although it's October, we moved it back to early bird pricing um, to make it affordable and convenient for people to come to this rink every night. Um, I think the people that have been here would, would, would say that it's high energy. They're having a great time. Um, we've been around this team, whether as a fan or, or, you know, working for them for the last 10 years. And I've never seen energy in the building, even moving back to the Senators and the Abbey's days and the Panthers days. Um, the energy has been consistent in this building for the last uh, four games for 60 minutes straight. So it's, it's great to see. It's, it's a fun place to be, especially when we're winning. When you've got that season ticket base that you're, you're starting to create here right now, but 34 home dates, but past the hockey, what are the benefits uh, of being a season ticket holder here for the Islanders? Well, I mean, you have your ticket. There's no lineups. There's no waiting. Uh, you come in. You have your seat for the 34 games. The, you, you know where you're sitting. You know, and there's some other added value on there as well, such as, you know, one night you'll be able to use a 50-50 escalator where you get basically buy $10 worth of 50-50s. You get another $10 free. There's discounts at uh, Source for Sports stores in Summerside and Charlottetown. Just, you know, those types of things. The convenience is one thing, but then the added value on there is, the, is, is a total other side of it. Trent, of course, as well as the season moves along, you're looking at other promotions as well. And you'll, again, you talk about flex packs, but uh, you're looking at promotions uh, that you might move towards as the season moves along. Yeah, we want to make this this building accessible to everybody. And and uh, it, it's a pretty affordable product for what you get. And we just want to continue uh, to be creative and come up with innovative ways, packages in which we can uh, 
make our games accessible uh, as easily as possible for uh, anybody that wants to come, whether it's five games or ten games, weekend games, weekday games, whatever the case may, may be. We'll continue to work as a staff here, be creative, and uh, find ways to get, get people in this building. Now, what about the volunteer uh, volunteers as far as people volunteering to help out uh, with this club, being part of the energy, being part of the, the home games and the building with the big crowds and so on? Uh, every franchise in the queue uh, and, of course, uh, in Major Junior, they've got a group of volunteers here. Somebody watching this video right now saying, you know what, I, I perhaps might like to jump on board and, and see if I can, uh, can help out a little bit. Uh, is there a source or somebody they can contact if they want to volunteer for the franchise? Yeah, there is. They can call the office uh, at 892-7349 and and uh, sign up there or ask any questions. And you're right, George. Any basic, we are in the entertainment business, and anybody in the inter entertainment business needs volunteers. And we have a great group of volunteers here from day one. And uh, you know, we we offer a great game day experience. And that game day experience isn't possible without the volunteers. Whether it's looking uh, after the kids, uh, you know, for the snow crew or during their shootouts, at the intermissions or warming up. The, the Islanders, whatever the case may be, whether it be, you know, assisting the marketing staff here with different promotions during the game. So, and, and you know, the volunteers that are that are with us, it's they say it's a pretty rewarding experience. There's 2,500, 3,000 people in this building leaving here with smiles on their faces. And a lot of that is, you know, the on-ice product is one thing, the off-ice product is another thing. And it's the volunteers that really make that on-ice, off-ice product smooth. Trent, the next home game, October the 11th, against the uh, Cape Breton Screaming Eagles. That's a, that's a big night. I want you to talk about that as well, of course. But your involvement uh, as an organization, as a team, not only not only in the Charlottetown community, but province-wide as well. What's the objective here uh, throughout this upcoming season to be involved in the PEI community? Well, it's very important to us. Uh, as an organization, uh, it always has been very important to us to have our guys in the community. And, you know... A lot of kids look up to our guys, or guys are heroes to a lot of these kids. We'll have guys on our team move on to the NHL, and it's great for those people in the community to be able to relate to our players, not only uh, what they see on the ice, but as people off the ice. And when our guys are in the community doing different events, uh, they're engaged, and they're there for all of the right reasons. Um, you know, whether it be school visits or minor hockey visits or, or corporate visits, um, this week coming is is a very big week for us uh, chipping in to, uh, for the fight against breast cancer. We start Wednesday night at Eastside Mario's with a pasta dinner where, you know, the, the people, the fans have been good to our players. They've been here, you know, average attendance is over 2,500. Now this is an opportunity for the fans to be able to go to East Sides on, on Wednesday night and have our players wait on them. So it'll be a different experience. It'll, it'll be good for our players. And again, those people will be able to see another side of our players other than what they see on the ice. Friday night, uh, October 11th is a huge game for us, um, not only for the two points, but uh, it's something that we're, we're very proud of. Um, all of our guys will wear pink jerseys in support of breast cancer, and after the game, uh, the jerseys will be raffled off. So somebody will, you know, 24 people will walk out of here with a pretty unique jersey. Now, of course, Trent, when you take a look at the situation here, uh, this upcoming week you said is huge, but uh, you're going to be involved in the PEI community as well, just not the Charlottetown area. No, for sure. Yeah, we, we go uh, last year. We had an anti-bullying campaign province-wide. We're looking to do something similar now. We're working with the Eastern Sk School District to see what we can do there, and uh, whether it be school visits or minor hockey um, uh, practices or whatever the case may be, we are indeed an island team. We, we, you know, We're called the Charlottetown Islanders simply because we're based out of here but we represent uh, PEI right from tip to tip and our ownership group, you know, we're, we're represented in Prince County, Queens County and Kings County and we're pretty proud of that and that's something that we're going to continue to focus on. I think it's important for the team and it's also important for the island. Fans, of course, have tweeted in some questions as well for you. We'll take a couple here right now. One very important, of course, because uh, you, you want the kids involved. Uh, the fans get involved as well. The mascots, uh, whether it's at the major junior level, the NHL level, whatever le level you're talking about, pretty important. And the fans get a closeness to the mascot that, that represents their team. How are things going along there for your hockey club right now? Things are good. It's rolling along. Uh, we know that Tomahawk has uh, has been sent down. Um, age was starting to get to Tomahawk. So uh, we have a new mascot in training right now at Mascot Training, and we expect uh, him to be in shape uh, within the next couple of weeks. And I'd say by the middle of October, you're going to see our own mascot here in the building.
What about trips now as far as fans are concerned? I know it's important here, and, and certainly within the uh, Maritime region, it's a doable thing, whether it's Moncton, St. John, or Halifax. Any, any planned uh, uh, bus trips as far as, as team fans are concerned, whether they can travel and see some road games? Nothing planned right now, but the plan is to plan some. Um, we are looking at different ways in which we can do that. Um, Booster Club will probably set up a table some nights. You know, our guys feed off energy. So if we can bring 35 or 40 fans to a different rink, then we're certainly, uh, we, we want to do that. And the, the interest is there. I know it would go, and it's just a matter of putting that uh, in place, and that should be in place. We're looking at, there's a game in Moncton coming up here that we'll probably look at doing. You know, the games in St. John or Halifax whatever the case may be if the interest is there we'll certainly drag our fans all over the Maritimes and Quebec for that matter Trent you can never no matter what time of the season you can never let the the pedal off the metal here but congratulations on a great start thanks George it's been fun for Trent Bird I'm George Matthews on Inside the Islanders